Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome to Weekday Wanderings in Paris. My name is Jackie. I have a very, very little voice. Um, I'm a bit sick at the moment, but I am out and about for a very special event which uh, takes place every year at this time of year. Um, and uh, of course, it wasn't held last year because uh, of COVID. So um, it's been a well, two years since it's run. And the event is the Salon du Chocolat. So the Salon du Chocolat runs uh, in the Tucson uh, weekend, so the last weekend in um, October, beginning of November. And uh, it's uh, the largest chocolate festival in um, the world. Uh, and uh, although it's very small this year, I've been several times. It's been running for 27 years here in Paris. Um, and uh, the first time I came was in 2009, which was stunning. And it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And that, of course, last year didn't run. And so I'm back again this year. So you don't want to see me. You want to see stuff. So here we are. So, Salon de Chocolat. So, um, they do lots of conferences, uh, showing people, um, obviously, lots of uh, chocolate techniques, famous chocolate, chocolatier. It's also patissier here, and uh, all sorts of other bits and pieces. Some alcoholic substances as well, which I enjoy over here. Okay, now this is really super awesome. Um, they have a defile every year, which is a, um, a fashion parade, and all the clothes are made out of chocolate. Not all of it, but um, a lot of it. So those hearts there are made out of chocolate. There's a little chocolate things there. Um, the first year that I came, um, one of the outfits was literally made out of chocolate, and it was melting on the model. So they do a defile um, every day at um, four o'clock. See these pools on here? They're all chocolate. There's not a huge selection this year. So, um, like I said, this is a lot smaller than it has been in previous <laughs> years. Um, obviously, that's down to the um, uh, to you know COVID, and a lot of people haven't been able to make it here. So it is a lot smaller than expected. But I suppose we also have to do a bit of social distancing. So that's that's kind of a good thing, I guess. So, hello to everybody who's online. I've got seven people online so far. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what we got. So yeah, it is really small, not as impressive as it has been. Bonjour Dominique, bonjour Judy, and bonjour Margaret. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so uh, this is, this is um, Belgian chocolate here, and the Van Houten chocolate over here. Look, this is ruby chocolate. Hey, Sally Davies. I, I thought this would be very special for you. Um, I thought you would like to be here. Of course, Sally and I have a shared um, passion. I um, had great designs on being a patissier chocolatier. Um, I'm not so sure about that now, but that's what Sally does. And um, yeah, bonjour Anthony. Thank you for joining us. So I'm just wandering around here. So we're at the Parc des Expositions, which is at the Porte de Versailles. Um, I got here this morning on the tram um, 3A, uh, which is just down the road from my house. So it was very quick and easy to get here. But it's also on Metro Line 12. So the Parc des Expositions. So this is the ex exhibition centre that they um, set up back in the late 1800s. So there's a lot of, obviously, obviously there's a lot of French brands here because it's easy for them to come and display their stuff. These are quite popular. They're sold in supermarkets here, but they also have boutique. Uh, so there's bonbon here, macaron, um, fudge, uh, pain de piece, all sorts of stuff. Some macaron here. Of course, you get to see them actually making a lot of their um, stuff. So I'm going to do a bit of a wander around and if you see something that's interesting please let me know 
um, and I can go and have a closer look and maybe talk to the people concerned if, if they are willing to talk. Okay. Um, they do have also um, cafes like here, they've got coffee. Coffee's very important because it helps to cleanse the palate. Uh, what's this? Oh, yum. Liqueur of Nemour. That looks yummy. Uh, of course, people are thinking of Christmas. Um, so there's a lot of um, advent calendars. Now, um, Sally says I've been watching this online for many years. It's very tough concour. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I can't remember what year was it. About four years ago when I came and it was just stunning. Um, this, the stuff that they made was just out of this world. Okay, this is probably the biggest uh, creation for this, this um, uh, Salon du Chocolat. This is obviously a life-size replica of Picasso's Guernica fresco, um, which is absolutely stunning. So just to see people next to it, just so that you get a, a view of it. The sculptures here that they've done in the past are absolutely stunning. Um, this one is extremely impressive. If you could be here standing next to this, um, the smell is overwhelming. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. I might have to stop chatting. Are people purchasing or just sampling? <coughs> Pardon me. So um, yes, you can you can sample, you can purchase. Um, if now if you're not in Paris, uh, you can actually go online. So if you just Google Salon de Chocolat de Paris, um, you can go on their official website. Um, and if you sign up, um, and this only runs until the 1st of November, if you sign up you can order online and you get a discount. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to be coughing quite a bit. So yes, you can indeed, um, you can indeed um, buy as well as sample. Now, I don't actually eat chocolate anymore, which is kind of weird probably for us. I used to be a chocolate addict and I've kicked the habit, so um, it's kind of weird having to be here um, looking at this stuff and not really having a desire to try it. This, however, I will be trying. Jelly de mojito, so I'm a big fan of mojitos. <coughs> so it's um, for drinking and for um, putting with food. I told the guy I'd be back. I won't start drinking yet. <coughs> white glass sandwiches so you have to balance the sweet with the um with the with the um the sally okay sally okay over here we have nougat well that's huge yeah yeah it is look at those all right, I have to show you some really impressive stuff. Oh, here we go. Um, this vinegar and um, preserves. We've got marshmallow over here. Here's a bar pomme de mort, which are um, candied apples. Look at these. Perfect for um, Halloween. And waffles. Is a juice bar. There you go, there's some more nougat. Look how big those are. They're huge. All sorts of different flavours. <coughs> so, um, apart from the lectures that they have and the competitions that they have, um, they also have a number of um, uh, workshops. So, uh, if you um, want to take part in a workshop, like chocolate tasting workshops, or um, I know down the back in the workshop area, they have um, a, a Nutella truffle workshop going on very soon. Dominique says, friends of ours, their family owns a nougat shop for summer in the south of France. It's possible they're here. <coughs> Wow, I think that's 
a degustation. Maybe I should have a degustation of a uh, of um, rum, I believe it is. You know, perfect just for my throat, eh? Because my throat's dying. This is Baba Rum. We have um, some sculptures going on over here. So these made out of chocolate. That's pretty. And there's actually one of the chocolatiers over here who's making another one. <coughs> Wine. So yes, I may have given up chocolate, but I haven't given up wine, so I will be having. Now, because like I said, um, I'm, I, I planned on being a patissier at some point, so these places really get me excited. Okay. So here's a big um, chocolate uh, stingray. Jenny Campbell, hi. You are a trooper carrying on with your voice. <laughs> Yeah, well, probably a bit silly, but here I am. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, everybody. All right. <coughs> so this is a pastry uh, show, so the patisserie um, demonstrations are in here. So there's lots and lots of... Um, uh, places, uh, businesses showcasing their wares. Obviously, this is um, uh, the event that all chocolatier and patissier uh, look forward to every year. And um, like I said, it was cancelled last year, but um, they've um, they've had it this year, and, and it's a lot smaller than it was. Look at these, aren't these beautiful? Patisserie. Very pretty. Oh. Um, Jean Tidwell says, um, is there, <clears throat> it's worth raising your voice, don't be sorry. I'm dealing with the same lately, it makes me feel, it makes me a bit on edge. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll let you know it's not COVID, okay? <laughs> Had enough COVID tests to, um, make sure of that. Okay, this is another one of the um, artworks that they did. To be honest, I'm not entirely impressed with it, but um, here it is. So this is a replica of um, a famous painting of Napoleon. There's actually four of them. Uh, three, three or four. Um, and it's, um, I've got the name, it's um, uh, Napoleon um, ascending the the Alps, something along those lines. We have 10 people online at the moment, so if you haven't, I haven't already said hello to you. Hello. Thank you for joining us. So if there's anything you want me to have a closer look at, let me know. Here's some beer flavoured chocolate, no, other way around, chocolate flavoured beer. Now I bought some um, a few years ago and I, just between you and me it was pretty horrible um, bought some for my, my husband and and uh, yeah, he wasn't overly impressed alright I have to show you these because these are always impressive ah now see this is the patisserie school I was looking at going to um, to do the course that I wanted to do it's only 15,000 euro unfortunately I don't have 15,000 euro so I won't be doing that course so we have some more nougat. So Jim Tidwell, hi, thank you for joining us. So this is caramel. So um, from Gironde, so it's salty, salted caramel. Now these blocks of chocolate always impress me because they're so freaking huge. Um, and they are sold by the um, uh, by the, the KT, like six euro 
50 per 100 grams and they just like literally break a piece off and that's what you get dark chocolate get your antioxidants I just I don't eat chocolate I don't like chocolate so I won't be having any chocolate I'm not sure I can find antioxidants in other places Okay, and these are nice patisserie, these are from Morocco, they're very beautiful, Moroccan patisserie. Judy says, I smoke about 15 euro, um, was 15 euro, is that referring to the entry, it cost me 15 euro to get in here today, oh, oh look at these. <clears throat> Sculptures, the various things. No, just moulded ones. We'll get shoes, handbags, lipstick, little puppies, pomegranate. Yes, pomegranate. Now I can handle that. <coughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Nice. Right. So yeah, um, they give out lots of. Um, uh, samples, so that's cool. They also have a workshop area for kids. Um, I think that's over here. Yeah, the, the Salon de Chocolat Junior. So um, yeah, they they do things so that kids can um, take part. Or area here for kids to go colouring in and stuff and sample chocolate as well. Sally says, that's a catastrophic situation, not being able to eat chocolate. Um, uh, yeah, it is, but um, I survive. <laughs> and it's part of the reason why I'm not really sure about being a patisserie, uh, patisserie anymore, because my heart's just not in it anymore. Now, I had this chocolate wine a few years ago. Um, it was really, really, really not nice. I was so excited about it. I bought it. The bottle looks really nice. And then I was really unimpressed. Um, all I can smell here is just chocolate. It's just like this overwhelming smell of chocolate. And <clears throat> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't interest me as much as it would have once done. Okay, where exactly are you? Someone says, I'm at the Salon de Chocolat in Paris. This is um, an annual event. It's been running for 27 years, although last year it didn't run because of COVID. Um, it's, it's supposed to be the largest chocolate exhibition in the world. But this year it's um, very not big because of COVID, obviously, has um, made it difficult for a lot of people. So this takes place at the uh, Parc des Exhibitions, which is in the 15th arrondissement in Paris. Just, uh, we're right next to the um, the, the Périphrique. Um, so yeah, and that's at Metro Porte de Versailles. Okay, so here we're selling um, spices and herbs and teas and all sorts of stuff, which I just think looks stunning. See, I'm more excited about this than the chocolate. It does look beautiful, and it's actually something that I might actually uh, be able to partake in. This. My husband loves this. Does anybody know what this is? It's a baton de réglisse. So licorice sticks. Um, you you can buy them and you just chew on them and it's kind of like um uh, well it's obviously tastes like licorice and I guess it's like a, a better version of chewing gum. You're not chewing on anything, but you're kind of just chewing on the end of a stick. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. All right, what else do we have here? Dominique, you're up at 4.45. That's incredible. I think you get 10 points for, um, for, for motivation. Well done. If I could get some chocolate and send it to you, I would. <laughs> Bonjour. No, merci. Say, look, they're trying to give their chocolate away to me and I'm not accepting it. Funny, huh? I miss the spices in the mall, says uh, Sally Davies. Yeah, I know. So you don't have that where you are? They don't do that over there? Look. 
Looks like boule, pitank. But it's chocolate. See, I would be inclined to maybe have some ginger chocolate. Dominique, your dog insisted on waking, did he? It's cute. Look at these little pots of chocolate flowers. Please, by all means, if there's something you want to talk, um, you want to look at specifically, please let me know. Now, um, this here, they actually sell um, uh, uh, marijuana infused or hemp infused chocolate. I bought some once uh, for a friend. Yes, it was literally for a friend because I've never touched that and don't want to. But um, I all of a sudden realised I couldn't send that overseas, could I? So I had to give it to somebody else. Imagine that going through customs. The drug dogs would have a field day. Okay. And these are pretty cool, eh? These are trashy, which are sugared almonds. Not four euro for a little bouquet there. Pretty cute. What's this? Oh. Oh, these are cool. Look, they do all these gift packs. Have you seen any chocolate sauces for ice cream? Yes, I have. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, chocolate sauces. Here we go. What's here? Well, they have um, pata tatine. This is um, vanilla. Rum. Now, where was the pata tatine? So, as you can imagine, there's um, quite a number of um, different stalls. So, right, there's a lady over there that's selling um, non-alcoholic, zero, zero sugar wine. Looks very pretty. So, I might go over and... Um, actually, I might go see her now, shall I? Because I do need something to drink. And at least it's... Um, not alcoholic yet. <laughs> too early in the day to drink too much of that. So it's, it's, it's made in Paris. It's really a company. Oh, she's busy with somebody. The box is quite cool. Yeah. My friends, I need to go. Jackie, take care of yourself and that scratchy voice. A piento. So, um, I won't go for much longer. But if there's anything that you um, want to have a closer look at, um, let me know. Now, I used to go to the Chocolate Festival in New Zealand um, when I lived there. And uh, part of the entrance fee to go in, there was a chocolate fountain which you could have unlimited access to. So basically you walked in the door and they would give you a, um, a stick with marshmallows on it and uh, you just help yourself and just stick your uh, you know, marshmallow kebab in the chocolate fountain and then you can just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat so it's unlimited and uh, no I'm not from Australia Jen, I'm from New Zealand So yeah, lots of batisaki as well. This is the stuff that um, I have a real appreciation for. This is the type of thing that um, I would have loved to have done as a career. That sort of thing. I just find that really beautiful. So yeah, they showcase all of that sort of stuff here as well. Right now I've I've taken a bit of an unconventional route so I'm not really sure where I've been and um, which direction I should be going to. Dominic says, yum, chocolate fountain, are strawberries there to try it with? They should be, shouldn't they? I totally agree, they should be. Okay, look at this. They're making stuff in the background there. I love it when you can go somewhere and um, you can actually see what they're making and that. 
Jean says, love your accent. My husband's dad's from Australia. New Zealand isn't too far. Yes, yes, neighbours. Not like the TV series. Cuckoo. <laughs> You're famous. Okay. These look really pretty. <clears throat> um, anyway, thanks Jen for um, yeah, your comment on my accent. <laughs> So um, there have been uh, people from various parts of the world come. There's uh, from Peru. So obviously um, chocolate um, comes from, uh, you know, the tropics. So Af African nations, you know, like Ghana, I know, that's big on chocolate. And, um, uh, and then uh, also in South America. So these are replicas of the gargoyles of Notre Dame, but they of course are made of chocolates. Um, they're, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how they compare in real size. Look at this. So that's being sculpted here at the moment. So the the um, chocolatier is just there behind it making his sculpture. Bona is a other famous chocolate brand in France. Contour du Cacao. It's pretty. Jen says, wow, impressive. Yeah, the sculpture. And some macaron and some patisserie here. Look at those. One of the um, um Sally Davis, um, do you? Oh, I'm guessing you're saying, do you see a uh, menu de patisserie with Mekot and Cyril? I have no idea. Um, they don't have a map with all of the um, the stands. So, and like I said, I'm I'm kind of just ran randomly wandering here. So I'm haven't that name doesn't jump out at me, but perhaps they're here. So, right, I will be finishing soon, mainly because um, I think half an hour is long enough for. A video and take that's probably more than enough so anyway that's just a little wander around something pretty special in Paris that um, one will only get to see once a year or if we have global pandemics less than that so I hope you enjoyed that I might go finish over by Gunica because that's really impressive and it smells really nice Sally says you walked past it and I was asking if you watch it if you're uh, asking if you watched it, no. Grateful we met, says Jen. Hope to see more. Okay, so I will be um, posting uh, the video and any photos, and extra photos that I take. So I think it was back over here that I was. <laughs> what an experience, says Jenny Campbell. Thank you for sharing it with us. You're welcome, my pleasure. Um, is this where we were? Uh, or can you pass? 
sorry I'm a little bit um, disoriented now, Sally. Doesn't matter. It was a fantastic walk. Thank you, Sally. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so I'll go finish up by Guernica because that looks awesome. Um, that's probably my highlight from um, this particular Salon de Chocolat. Um, I just uh, popped up in my Facebook memories today the uh, visit that I did back in 2017 um, which was amazing like overwhelming it was really 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 like stunningly um, packed it's a, a chocolate uh, waterfall um, and um, I might have to review some of those photos just to see uh, if there was anything particularly that jumped out at me. So, again, everybody, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, apologies for the voice and the coughing. And I hope that you're all doing well. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday. We're in the school holiday, so I will have my babies with me. Um, Jen says, this to you. Until we meet again, I appreciate your efforts. Thank you. I appreciate that too. So, take care, everybody. We will see you on next Friday. Take care. Bye.